Welcome to Emily and Hector's Retro Reviews. Today's a very special unboxing. This weekend, Rambo Last Blood is coming out. So we decided to unbox one of the Rambo, the Force of Freedom figures. Evil has a new name. It's Savage, the secret army of vengeance and global evil. Today, Savage and its diabolical leader, General Warhawk, threaten the freedom of everyone on the face of the earth. Can anyone stop Savage? Rambo. He's not just another Joe, he's a fighting machine. Expert in all tactical weapons and guerrilla warfare. Rambo's the one man you want when the going gets rough. But the fight won't be easy because General Warhawk doesn't fight fair. And he doesn't fight alone. Second in command is Sergeant Havoc. He thrives on treachery and dirty tricks. Mad Dog, he's one mean dude with a real short fuse. Gripper, a ruthless mercenary. He rewrote the book on combat. Nomad, a terrorist who's not above seizing hostages or planting a bomb. And the final member of Savage is the Black Dragon, a deadly ninja warrior. But if freedom and justice are to survive, the only hope is with Rambo and the Force of Freedom. Fighting alongside Rambo is Colonel Troutman, the toughest CO in the Special Forces. Turbo, an electronics whiz, whose inventions keep the force of freedom one step ahead of Savage. Cat, she's always ready to swing into action. And the White Dragon, who unlike his evil twin brother, uses his ninja powers only for good. The battle will be fierce. It will be fought on the land and in the air. But with Rambo and the force of freedom, justice and liberty will never surrender, no matter what. This isn't just box box, but it also comes in the shipment box. Look at this enemy, Rambo. This is sweet. And it has all the figures that it can be. And right here, it's marked which one it is. It's Nomad. Emily, tear it open. Look at this guy. This, um, I mean, you wouldn't be able to sell this figure today. Look at the way he's dressed. Uh, they'd probably make him Rambo's friend. He's part of Savage, the off organization that was against freedom. Basically, these Rambo figures were um, kind of copying, in a way, G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe had Cobra, Rambo had Savage. As you can see, the scale, you can't play with your G.I. Joes with them. They try to market these as better and bigger and stronger than G.I. Joe. He's not just another Joe, he's a fighting machine. What do you think about this figure, Emily? I feel like for its year, it's pretty good. And like, it's in, the color is very vibrant. I like the sculpting, the sculpting is really good. And I like that it comes with accessories. That's always fun. That's actually, that's a great point, Emily. These figures, they were lacking a little bit of articulation. Of course, they didn't have the G.I. Joe swivel arm. They didn't have elbow joints. Uh, their heads were not at a ball joint. They just went from left to right. That's it. The shoulders had a joint. Waist, there's no articulation in that. Yeah, they had articulation at the hip, but they were very fragile and they broke very often. They had knee articulation and that's all for the articulation. But they came stacked with weapons. G.I. Joe, sometimes you, let's say, Cobra Commander only came with one gun. The Baroness, at least she came with a backpack and one gun. But these guys, the Rambo Force of Freedom figures, came with a lot of weapons, a lot of detail, and mortarized weapons, which was awesome. I really like the detail on the figures. So with some figures, there is sculpted detail, but they never really paint it. And I love that how even with the watch, it has the little like numbers on it. Oh, that is sweet. Now, G.I. Joe had bio cards and they told you everything about the action figure. These figures didn't have a bio card, but they still told you who this person was and how he pertained to this series and to this toy line. Just like G.I. Joe, save your little flag point right here. And it showed instructions on how to use the motorized weapon. When you turn the package over for the G.I. Joes, you saw all the characters that you can purchase, that you can collect. But it was all character drawings, the animation for the figure. For Rambo, you actually have the picture of the character, of the toy that you want to collect. And the nice thing as well is, he got pictures of the prototypes on the back. He's got no bandana. 
and also his motorized weapon is red. Now G.I. Joe had some awesome artwork on the packaging. Well, the Rambo Force of Freedom figures also have some beautiful artwork. Unfortunately, because of all the weaponry that it, these figures come with, it's kind of ignored and put way in the background. You ready to unbox it, Emily? Yes. Go ahead and do the honors. Keep going, keep going. While you're unboxing it, I'm gonna try to get this this card. It didn't have bio cards like, or file cards like the GI Joe figures, but it came with these little cards that you didn't have to cut out. And it had information, not just on the character, on the toy that you're buying, but also had information on his weaponry. You almost got it out there, yes! Wow. Smells good. Let me see. Wow, he smells incredible. This is sweet. This is really nice. Oh, yeah, here. You check out the figure. I'll get the weapons out of here. It smells like a baby doll. Comes with a pistol. He comes with two knives. Ooh. And then, ah, oh, this, is, this is like a, a his Can knife. knife. Yeah, for the knife, so he could strap the knife to his leg. Can I put it on? Yes. This weapon is not really motorized, unlike the the Rambo figures. They really came with motorized weaponry. Oh man, okay, so it goes like high above. So it's like almost to his uh, his knee here. Boy, okay, so some of these things, like the parents need to help assemble this. And I just remembered, I am the parent. <laughs> And I should be able to do this? <laughs> Maybe the child can do it. You haven't done one yet? No. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Yay. The child was able to assemble it. And then he holds the knife in one hand. Oh, look. He could hold the gun in one hand, the knife in one hand. So the backpack goes on his chest like this. Oh, and. And you see all the molding right here, the way it's molded to fit on the chest. Finally got it. Okay. So you have Nomad. And then he's about to fire. Ta -da! That scope goes right on his eye. Yeah. So the scope goes right on his eye. Like, don't worry, Rambo. I will not pull any tricks on you. I, I am a nice man. Did this happen in the movie? Uh, on the cartoon, because these are the cartoon figures. Oh. I am nice man, Rambo. Do not worry. I, I, I... Ta-da! I got you, Rambo. Like that? Yeah. Is that what really happened? I don't... Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. <laughs> That's how I would play. And then you would paint on them with white out and then stick. Yes, I would paint white out on them and stick needles, needles into the face. face because he's hurt. He's Rambo. He can take it. And no, it's just, it's, you know, afterwards it's over. Mm -hmm. But he'll, of course, he's going to say, Nothing is over! Nothing! Like that. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, Emily, go ahead and tell us what you like about. Nomad. I like, like how I said before, I love all the detail. And then I was amazed with all the, the accessories that I came in with. It came in in the box, mm -hmm. but it looks even better and it's cooler when it's outside of the box. It does. That's what I love. Sometimes you open up a figure and it's like, oh, is that it? Kind of like uh, the Pink Panther that oh, we unbox. We also unbox E.T. That was another one. But this, this was really cool. I like his squishy face too. Like, look, it's squishy. I really love the detail that they put in it. This figure looks very realistic. This is, I mean, what he's wearing 
is something that a soldier would wear on the battlefield in the desert. G.I. Joe, they always came with molded on weapons that you can't take out. But yeah. this comes with a holster with a knife that he can take out. He comes with two knives in case you lose one. Then he's got his gun on the side. You can unleash his machine gun right there. He's Rambo. Hey, what are you doing there? Hey, I'm Rambo. You stay there. Don't Rambo move. I like did that. not move. Not I'm Rambo. Ta da! How do you not know? Look at this! <laughs> How? Made it work. I'm Rambo. It won't work. I'm Rambo. You know, that reminds me when you were a little girl, that was the, the most proud I was of you at that time. <laughs> you, you, I had bought you an arrow set. Oh, and you put a Native bandana American on you. Yes, yes. And I put and a bandana on you. Then you told me, I'm going to shoot you, daddy. <laughs> and I was so proud of you. <laughs> nom, nom. Nom, 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 nom. No, I don't want to go. Nom, nom. Nom, nom, nom. I told you I don't want to go. Nom. Uh, I'm done with you. I'm going to go play with some flowers. There he is. Colonel Trotman. Ha. Huh. Now is my chance to get him. Rambo, your colonel has been captured. Oh man, here I go again. Rambo. Everywhere, the savage forces of General Warhawk threaten the peace-loving people of the world. There's only one man to call. Get me Rambo. <gasps> Colonel Chapman, I'll save you. I'm Rambo. Now I shoot you. Hooray for Rambo. And the force of freedom. This has been awesome! Get into a box, review, and play with these action figures! Like I was five years old again! So from Hector... And Emily... Bye! Bye! I never really had interest in Rambo. I thought it was a knockoff version of Rocky. So you know, I never really... Knockoff version of Rocky? <laughs> like it's Sylvester Stallone! <laughs> Rambo, be ready. That was dumb. <laughs> like I never watched Rambo. Plus, Rocky never went around shooting people and ripping their throats out. Yeah, that's why I never saw the movie because I was too little to watch it. And you would say, I'm Rambo. Like and, that? Yeah. That's cool. And you, and you would go around shooting things with your bow and arrow. I mean, you missed <laughs> by a mile. I am a big Sylvester Stallone fan. I do not find Rambo to be a knockoff Rocky. <laughs>